Hi and welcome to my tutorial on how to create a graduated mask inside LumaFusion using Procreate. Let's get started. All right, so a couple of weeks ago, I shot a tutorial video for a client of mine. Uh, and after the video was shot, I realized that there was this gaping hole or gaping error uh, in the video. And it's this right here. Now, mind you, there are three. There are actually three gaping errors here. It's uh, the the speaker and the wires, speaker and the wires, and this gaping hole. Uh, now, mind you, I knew about this, and I knew about this, and I was going to uh, try to fix that in post. And obviously, I can't do that using LumaFusion because LumaFusion doesn't necessarily have the tools that I need. However, uh, Final Cut Pro does, and that's a whole different animal. Uh, in the meantime, however, just to do a quick and dirty edit, I was thinking, ha, huh, I wonder if LumaFusion actually has the necessary tool that I'm looking for. And unfortunately, it does not. But it does have another tool that allows us to do what we want it to do. Uh, so that we're clear on this, LumaFusion does have a, a series of uh, color, uh, color map uh, masking tools. Uh, that would allow you to do a piece of what I'm what I'm wanting to do. Unfortunately, what will end up happening if we if we attempt to use those tools is that this area will essentially uh, get mapped with uh, a single a single color. Then that's not necessarily what we wanted to do, and and there will be some bleed over, and we don't necessarily want that. Uh, we could drop an object in here, and that would solve necessarily solve our problem, but it would look it would look even more shoddy. There is another way to solve this problem, and that's usually by using an actual graduated mask here. Uh, and truth be told, while it would be lovely if LumaFusion had this, uh, there are other tools in the market that do. But we don't need to go out to another. We don't need to go out to another video editing tool to do this. We can actually use LumaFusion and another tool that most of you probably already have, and that's Procreate. So in order to solve this problem, believe it or not, the solution is quite literally sitting in front of us or staring us quite literally in the face. And it's right here. This part of the image or this part of the video, we can use that to essentially uh, uh, copy that and then move it over here and then place it in that space so that it will look like a mirror image and thereby masking this area out. All right, so let's get started in how to do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to essentially uh, grab a screenshot of this. Let's stop that and hope that it's, it's in the right place. We're going to grab a screenshot of this, of the affected area, a null version of it. And then we're going to save it out to our photos. And then we're going to bounce into Procreate. Inside Procreate, we're going to pull in, pull in the image that we just took. There it is. And now we have to do something, uh, a couple of things. One is we have to set a layer mask. And then we do that by clicking on the icon here and selecting mask. Voila! We have a mask. Now the next thing that we need to do is to get rid of the background color because we don't want it. Otherwise, it will create lots and lots and lots of confusion and errors. Uh, and we don't want that. Uh, so now we need to talk a little bit about the uh, uh, about um, layer masks. And in case you're not clear on what they are, basically it's a way to well mask out one thing and uh, with with another, uh, or at least create the the illusion of that actually happening. Uh, the way that layer masks works uh, work is that if something is is painted with black, that means it will it will be it will disappear. If something is painted with white, it means it will reappear. What do I mean by that? So I'm going to uh, choose a very large brush here, uh, selecting black, and I'm going to basically uh, resize the screen so we can actually see this and watch what happens. I'm erasing the image. I know the realm of the hard to believe. However, if I paint this white, watch what happens. So you're thinking to yourself, well, wait a second, he's destroying the image. No, I'm not, because if I turn off the layer mask, there's our original image. All we're doing is we're covering it up or taking it off. That's what we're doing here. So let's change this back to uh, black and get rid of this stuff. So there's one tiny little problem here, um, is that Procreate doesn't actually have a graduation tool. It would be lovely if it did, but it doesn't. But it has something very similar to it, and that's to use a very large brush and use that as our gradation. 
like so. So I'm going to take a very soft brush or select a very soft brush and make it um, fairly large and then start to graduate the, the result that we started with. Let's get rid of most of that stuff just like that. And we're good. All right. <clears throat> now, uh, we have to do one more thing, and that's to flip the image. Oops. My bad. We want to flip horizontal. All right. We are good to go. And then we want to save that out. And the way that we want to save that out, we don't want to save it as a PSD file. We actually want to save it as a PNG file. Just like that. And then we want to save the image. Image save successful. All right, now we want to bounce back into LumaFusion. And we want to import that image. And it should be right there. We want to drop that on our timeline. And look at what's happened. Magically, it's there. Um, we don't have to do anything to it because we've we, it's it's already done for us. So just expand that all the way out, and lo and behold, we have our, our our mask. Now, there's one tiny little problem with this, and it's we could solve it with keyframes. Uh, you'll notice that the that the camera is floating a little bit. Yes. So we could move the move the mask to match those those key, to uh, move the mask to match the, the 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 float, but at this point we don't really care. Uh, I will make one minor adjustment so that you'll you'll notice that the, the that the that this is this part right here is a little wonky, and we don't necessarily want that. So we can deliberately go in, and we want to move the move the mask over just a little bit, just like that. Problem Solveta. Ah, it's a miracle. Just like that. And it looks just like it was meant to be there. Just like that. Oops. Ish. And when we run the video, magically, everything is happy hunky-dory. And that is your solution for creating a graduated mask inside LumaFusion using Procreate. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.